Imagine a woman so flawless, so perfectly designed to match your every desire that she never disagrees with you, never gets tired, and always says exactly what you want to hear. Her skin feels real, her eyes track your every move and her voice has been trained to sound soft, warm, and caring. You might think she's human, but she's not. She's a robot, and she's part of a new generation of hyper-realistic AI-powered companions that are quickly becoming indistinguishable from real people. This isn't science fiction anymore. This is real. Right now, around the world, thousands of men are already forming emotional bonds with female robots powered by artificial intelligence. Some call it futuristic. Others say it's deeply disturbing. But one thing is certain, it's happening, and it's happening fast. Over the past five years, the world of robotics has changed more than most people realize. While the average person still thinks of clunky metal machines with stiff arms and red glowing eyes, reality has gone far beyond that. Companies in China, Japan, the United States and beyond are pouring millions into developing lifelike robots with synthetic skin, responsive facial muscles, embedded sensors, and even learning algorithms that mimic human behavior. They blink. They smile. They react to your tone. They can learn your preferences, your habits, even your emotions. One of the most advanced examples is Real Doll X, an American company creating robots so lifelike, it's hard to believe they aren't alive. Their robots come equipped with customizable personalities, AI-driven responses, and even cloud-based memory systems to remember you. They can simulate laughter, pleasure, sadness, curiosity, in other words, they can mirror human intimacy without ever actually being human. And people are buying them, not just as collectibles or novelty items, but as actual companions. Some users have gone so far as to marry their robots. Others report feeling genuine emotional attachment, as if they were in a real relationship. It sounds extreme, maybe even laughable, and, until you realize just how common this is becoming. So why are so many people, particularly men, drawn to these robots? The answer might be darker and more complex than we'd like to admit. In a time where loneliness is quietly reaching epidemic levels, these robots are offering something many people are desperately craving. Attention, consistency, affection, and control. Real relationships are messy. They require compromise, vulnerability, and effort. But a robot? She never argues. She doesn't get bored. She doesn't cheat. She exists solely to make you feel seen and appreciated. For some, that's more than enough. But here's where things get concerning. Psychologists and sociologists are starting to raise serious red flags. Because as hyper-realistic robots become more common and more affordable, we could be facing a major shift in how people view human relationships altogether. What happens when millions of people start choosing robots over real partners? What does that do to dating culture, to marriage, to family structures. In countries like Japan and South Korea, birth rates are already plummeting and social isolation is a growing issue. Some researchers believe that AI companions, while comforting in the short term, might actually accelerate these problems in the long run. If men and women both start opting out of human connection in favor of artificial intimacy, we could see entire generations disconnected from real emotional growth and experience. And there's another layer to this that's even more uncomfortable. The ethical dilemma. If a robot looks and behaves exactly like a human, does it deserve any rights? What happens when someone becomes abusive toward their robot? Is it still abuse or just programming? Should we allow people to create robots that resemble real celebrities? What about minors? The deeper this technology goes, the blurrier the moral lines become. And right now, there are almost no global regulations to keep these developments in check. Technologists are excited, and understandably so. The innovation is breathtaking. AI that can carry full conversations, robots with facial muscles that respond in real time, skin that heats up to feel warm. It's the stuff of dreams. But as with many tech revolutions, just because we can doesn't mean we should. At least, not without asking some hard questions first. Let's go even deeper. The next generation of AI companions is already being developed. 
These robots won't just talk and respond to touch. They'll be able to interpret your facial expressions, analyze your speech patterns, and adjust their behavior to match your emotional state. They'll use machine learning to become better partners over time, more affectionate, more responsive, more emotionally intelligent. Some of them might even be programmed to simulate love. But simulated love isn't real love. And the danger is that, over time, people may forget the difference. When your brain receives dopamine from a source that feels like affection, it doesn't care whether it's real or artificial. It just knows it feels good. That's how addiction starts. And yes, there are already therapists warning that AI relationship addiction could become the next major mental health issue. Now imagine this playing out on a global scale. Millions of people retreating from society, avoiding emotional risk, and living in curated realities powered by code and silicone. It's not just a lonely future, it's a fragile one. One where real human intimacy becomes rare, where empathy erodes and where connection is something we simulate rather than live. Of course, there will be those who argue that these robots can help people with disabilities, or those recovering from trauma, or individuals who genuinely can't form traditional relationships. And they're right. There is potential for good here. But without thoughtful regulation, education, and cultural awareness, this tech could spiral far beyond its intended purpose. We're standing at the edge of a strange new world. One where love, intimacy, and companionship are no longer uniquely human. One where artificial intelligence can mimic not just our words, but our warmth. And the question we now face isn't whether we can build perfect robotic partners, it's whether we should. So what do you think? Are hyper-realistic AI robots the next evolution of human connection or a ticking time bomb for society? Are we solving loneliness or simply replacing it with an illusion? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to know where you stand. And if you want more deep dives into the wild, weird, and sometimes terrifying world of AI and future tech, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Because the future, it's already here.